You may have watched one of our more recent videos of Ben's bear hunt. And when Ben brings home a lot of meat, what I like to do is right after we grind it, rather than freezer packing it right away, is make a batch of pasties. It has a buttery crust, and then it has four main ingredients on the inside. Potatoes, meat, onion, and carrots. I'm gonna start on my dough. So the recipes that I follow for making my dough is called the three, two, one. Um, you do three cups of flour, two sticks of butter, and then one cup of water, cold water. You want your butter to be cold, fresh out of the refrigerator. Um, and you're going to kind of like dice it up and throw it into your flour so that it all mixes together. I'm making a large batch of pasties, so I'm going to double this recipe and do six cups of flour, four sticks of butter, and two cups of water. Now that I have a nice dough ball, I'm just going to wrap it in some plastic wrap and throw it in the fridge so that it hardens while I do all the other prep work. Into the fridge. So I realized that I'm out of big onions and I just have a bunch of little ones left over from my garden. So I'm just gonna cut up all of these to add to the pasty. No tears. Now that I have all of my carrots cut up, I'm just gonna dump them into a big mixing bowl and start on my potatoes. Okay, so I peeled about five pounds of potatoes. Now I'm just gonna dice them up into little cubes. And we've made pasties with all different kinds of meat. We've used moose meat, venison, bear. I think that bear is our favorite. So what I'm doing today is I'm probably gonna make about four dozen um, and then we just keep them in the freezer cook them as we want to eat them. So I chopped up all my potatoes, put them in my bowl. I'm sure you know if you've cooked with potatoes before, you have to peel them and cook them quickly, otherwise they start to brown. And what I didn't know until I started making pasties is that even when you freeze your potatoes, they still end up browning after a while. So I have a pot of boiling water right here and I'm just gonna take my cubed potatoes that I have put them in the boiling water for a minute or two, and then put them directly into ice water. And what that does is cooks the outside, but makes sure that the inside is still hard enough. Um, and the cold water is going to stop the cooking process immediately. And that should help my potatoes keep rather than browning while they're in my pasties. So now I'm going to start adding everything into my big mixing bowl now that I have everything cut up and prepped. So we cook our bear meat before we put it in our pasties because bears have a disease called trichinosis. Not all of them but we don't know which ones do and which ones don't and so it's important to cook your bear meat to 135 degrees um, to kill the trichinosis. So we just like to have that done before we put our meat in our pasties but when we do stuff like moose or venison we usually leave that raw um, when we put it in our pasty. So meat first. Next I'm gonna put in my potatoes. I strained all of my potatoes after I blanched them. So now my carrots and onions. So now I'm going to add in my seasonings. I do um, salt, pepper, and then I think I'm going to add in some minced garlic as well. Measure with your heart. Okay, now is for the fun part. We get to roll out our dough. I have this fancy rolling pin that you can take the ends off and then I have these little circles. This one is an eighth of an inch so I'm just going to put this on the end so that all of my pasties come out to be the same size. Oh, 
All right, now that I have all my dough balls rolled out, I can start assembling my pasties. So I have a half cup here that I'm going to use to scoop out my inside part. I'm just gonna lay out my piece of dough, tape a scoop of my filling. I wanna keep it on the bottom half and then I'm gonna fold the top half over and kind of pinch the bottoms down so that everything connects. And then what you wanna do is I take my pointer finger and I just curl the edge and push it down and it creates that crust on your pasty. Lastly, what you wanna do is cut three little slits Now I'm going to show you how I like to package my pasties for the freezer. I found that it's actually easiest if I buy these foils. So they are already pre-cut sheets and it's the perfect size for a pasty. Put my pasty down here. And then I almost fold the foil in the same way that I make my pasty as I just crumple up the edges around. And there you have it, your pasty is ready for the freezer. So I ended up with 36 pasties. I used five pounds of potatoes, six pounds of bear meat, one pound of carrots, a bunch of small onions that equaled like a medium sized onion. And then I did three double batches of the three, two, one dough recipe. I'm going to pop two of these into the oven at 400 degrees for an hour and then the last 10 minutes I'm going to open up the foil package so that the top part of our pasty will brown. I like to eat my pasty with ketchup, but Ben prefers his plain.